Hi guys, we got the opportunity to stop by Country Life Natural Foods in Pullman, Michigan, and they gave us a behind the scenes, in-depth tour of their facility. So we were able to go in person, yep. not just order online, but we're gonna show you guys all the cool things that we saw, yep. as well as all the information you need to place an order for Country Life Natural Foods. And then make sure you stay tuned to the end and I will show you everything that I bought on this stocking up trip from Country Life. We are so excited. We are here at Country Life Natural Foods in Pullman, Michigan, and we are inside the warehouse right now. We'll go over to the storefront in just a little bit, but this is where all the big stuff comes in, and over here, pallets and different things like that. All natural foods, grains, beans. Uh, I've gotten dried mangoes, like my favorite thing here. <laughs> and we are here today with Mitchell who uh, is, I'm gonna say it again, the Director of Operations uh -huh. and something else. Yeah, the Operations, operations. and Finance, okay. things, yeah. Okay. Um, and he is showing us around, which is so wonderful. We have, um, my mom has been ordering from this company for a long time. We have also been uh, long time customers. Mm -hmm. And today we just wanted to share it with all of you. We wanted to show you around, show you what they offer, and just talk about the company because I know you guys are interested in stocking up on good quality, all natural organic products, a lot of plant-based products, right. and this is one amazing place to do that. So come along and check it out, and uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys all about uh, Country Life Natural Foods. We uh, started as sort of a faith-based uh, organization back in 1960. Okay. Okay. Um, so we've been around a for time. about a little over 60 years now, providing uh, healthy food options for people. First of all, in our community, like locally, yes. right. um, having healthy food options and doing community events. Um, and then also, obviously, over the years, have expanded. So now we sell um, foods and products uh, across all 50 states. So you're nationwide. So, yeah, so now we're nationwide, so we're able to reach people. Awesome. Uh, so real product. quick, I know that we touched on that before, but let's touch on it real quick. What is our, what are your options as far as shipping goes? Because I know that's a big question a lot of people have is, mm -hmm. you know, what's my shipping going to cost? What are my taxes going to cost? Um, there's some other companies that we've done with the, some bulk stuff as well. Yeah. And that's something you have to factor, like, Shipping and all that stuff. So smaller items you said are what? Give me a run down the net again. Yeah, yeah. So any smaller items, so any items you order, if you're ordering just like a bag granola or something, as long as your items, um, each item is under 10 pounds, it's $99. Anything order over $99, you get free shipping. Um, and then with the bulk products, any product we sell, we sell 50 pound bags, anything over $400, you get free shipping whether you live in um, Illinois or California okay. or Florida. Awesome. Um, yeah, anywhere in the United States. And you don't have to be, uh, some companies have a specific route, like a driving mm -hmm. route where you have to be on that route or you have to go to a pickup location, but you guys go directly to the consumer's house? Correct, correct. Okay. So we used to have the route system, but then we realized people wanted, wanted our products all across all over, uh, right. Right. Okay. the country. So we, now we have options where you get delivered right to your door. Um, Anywhere in America. So even if you <laughs> maybe can't spend four hundred dollars yourself, I guarantee you can find other people yeah. that you can work together yeah. with so and pull together. Like yeah. I know our our fellowship, our church has done that, where you right. go together and you can get free shipping that way. Definitely. And how's the taxes work? Like since it's an online purchase, you mm -hmm. do, do you pay how the state pays taxes or how where you're sending it? Pays yeah. Taxes? So so it's wherever we're shipping it okay. to. Okay. Yeah. That's where you pay the taxes. Okay. Helps so. to talk to the finance person. Yeah. 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 So I think we're gonna walk around, yeah. right? Say, tell me where we are again. Yes, yeah, so right now we're sort of in our packaging department. So okay. this is where like, of our, uh, I mean, still some of big boxes, yes. but smaller yeah. parcels in general, um, going out to more of our direct-to-consumer customers. So you get okay. the truck that packs in here, you take all these things and you ship yep, them right yep, the... yep. So this is like our warehouse with a lot of our products we package, a wild rice blend. Okay. Stuff. How do you guys find suppliers or vendors? Like, mm -hmm. how do you mm -hmm. how do you grow in that area? Because I know demand is kind of an issue right now for some people in their products. So, kind of, you don't have to get into a lot of yeah. details. But how do you seek out these people to find good quality products to carry? Yeah, yeah. So we have a whole purchasing team, um, and they they work with um, partnering with with farms, whether local farms or or farms across America. Okay. We have some farms in Montana that we partner with okay. for some of our wheat products. They have big wheat fields out there. Um, and or trail mixes and nuts and so we partner with, with, with a number of different farmers okay. um, that have uh, similar values that we have as far as how do we make sure everything's based on fair trade and yeah. um, 
quality food products because um, we, we obviously test everything that we sell right. ourselves to make sure it's up to our the standards yeah, that we, absolutely. we expect our, our customers expect. And so, and how many employees does Country Life have? Mm -hmm. So right now we have uh, 45 employees, okay. um, mostly full time. A couple of those are part time um, team members. But yeah, so smaller business. But and it's all at this location. Yes, this is our, our primary location. Locations? We have a few team members, um, obviously with the more remote work that that okay. do some stuff remotely. Yeah. Um, yeah. With product development or. Um, but marketing this is currently stuff. the only site. But this is our primary location right here, from here in Southwest Michigan. Okay, <laughs> and it's such a beautiful little tucked away place. Um, yes. And you guys, I'm assuming as you grow, you're going to try to add more products and mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. things and expand into different things. Is it your preference to only have U.S. suppliers? Are you trying? Are you trying to break out of that to be able to get other products? Yeah, yeah. So we've even with some of the supply chain challenges. Yeah, yeah we're having to partner with some farmers outside the U.S. But obviously, we have. Uh, strict criteria as far as the right. quality and making sure that they're um, as comparable if not better to some of our um, U.S. farmers. Some products just don't grow well. They yeah. don't. Yeah. I was like um, cocoa, you know, cocoa or, or, or like, mangoes some things and some things. Mangoes. Like, yep. You gotta yeah. branch out. <laughs> you go more tropical do. than yeah. um, some of the things that we <laughs> have good here. USA. Right. Um, okay. All, a lot of products we make ourselves. Like okay. granolas, we have, we you eventually mix go back. Together we mix stuff? them together and okay. we bake them. Some of the granolas and so back here is where we do package some of the products. This is where we come so and packaging, yeah, packaging some and all products that, that we made and okay. um, resizing them. Um, Hi. <laughs> what are we making now, Gary? Uh, soy milk. Soy milk. So okay. we're uh, able to make it more consumer friendly sizes. Okay. Most people don't want a uh, 50 pound bag of uh, soy milk. Yeah, only it's, my family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so we have a lot of those products too. Okay. Big, big bulk, um, yeah. like 50 pounds of a product or 100 pounds or whatever. Yeah. Um, but then also some mm -hmm. other for other customers maybe aren't like, hey, I don't want to start off that much. Yeah. Right, some smaller quantities. Or, okay. or you could even try a smaller quantity and then order a bigger quantity like the next time around. Exactly. Exactly. I I know you guys carry products. I know you ship all the bulk stuff and all of these type of items. But I know like you partner with Now Essential Oils yes. and different things like that. Do you ship those as well, or do those are those in store only. So yeah, now we ship those products okay. as well. Um, so okay. we're able to partner with some of these uh, organizations. Great companies, yeah. Yeah, great companies, and we're able to buy them in, in large quantities. We're right? able yeah. to buy a thousand of us different make essential oil. Yeah. Um, and so we're able to make we're able to buy it cheaper, so we can make it more affordable. Okay. Um, so those things ship too. Those things. We'll ship go too. into the shop. So and everything we'll that and I'll you show see. Kind of the mixer roll up and put it in like a big tote. Okay. Uh, and so for different products, and so then we can uh, package it right next to doing yeah. some. This is one of their original recipes. Yes. In the 60s? Yes, yeah. So, so this somebody, is from the 60s so when, we, when someone developed okay. it. We also have a product So it's developed. a secret recipe. <laughs> True. I don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll <laughs> pretend that it is. That's, that's how secret it is. Okay. Yes, yeah, so some cold products. We'll just look back here briefly. Sure. Um, this is like more of our warehouse space. I'm not sure. Shop. So we, okay. we have different refrigerated warehouse spaces that are different temperatures. Okay. And here is uh, one of our warehouse spaces that we keep products at around 50 okay. degrees or so. Okay. Um, you can see here we have a lot of um, pallets of different bulk items. Yeah, and, I see rice um, and, and different yeah, things rice like that. And, um, raisins. Yep. Raisins, wheatberries, and then we keep, this is our coldest, our largest warehouse okay. back here. Um, keep the temperature around. 42, 43 degrees, um, just so that way when customers get the product, they're in their best quality. When someone goes out to the website and they put something in their cart, they check out, they are guaranteed that product. Um, mm -hmm. Like once they check out, it once, is set aside for them. Once they check out, it's set aside for them. Every okay. so often we have things that are out of stock, but that's pretty rare. But that would show um, that on the website. It would show it on the website. Okay. Um, and if, if for some reason it was out of stock, they would obviously get refunded their full amount. Right. Um, right. So she's dodging the bullet here, but there's a company that you might place uh, an order with and put it in your in your uh, checkout. Okay. But then you might not. It might not necessarily be allocated for you. Correct. Right? Yeah. This it is more like get a shipped. conventional online. This is a shopping. conventional online okay. shopping. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. If you put it, that product is allocated. You put it. You check it out. Reserved you go for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so like I put an order in this mm -hmm. week, and uh, and I could have had it shipped, but I was yeah. local, so I was here, so I picked it up. And so what I did though, I put everything in my cart. I checked out, I paid for it, and those things were allocated for me. And I then, uh, like within 24 hours, I got a notification that my order was complete and ready for me to come and pick up. Now, yep. I'm assuming if someone was shipping it, um, you would then notify them when it ships type correct, of thing? Correct, correct. Yes, if you order online, you'll get a tracking number okay. um, saying, so you hey, know this when one, it's coming Yeah, you know when it's house. coming, you know what to okay. expect it. A lot of our products are delivered through like 
of UPS or FedEx, but but products here close in the Midwest, we actually deliver mostly on our trucks. Um, okay. Because we're able to still get it there timely. Um, so people in Michigan and uh, Indiana, Northern Indiana, uh, Chicago area, okay. Illinois, um, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Those are the current states that to we those. self deliver. So okay. they can meet our one of our delivery drivers. Um, oh, cool. So okay. they, yeah. A yeah. Adding more employees and stuff. So you yeah. call that a lo local regional shipping and yeah. you have to take care in house. Yeah. And then you obviously, yeah. California, you're not going to send a truck Yeah, we're not there. sending a truck down to California, <laughs> center, but we want, still want people to be able to enjoy our products. Yes, right. absolutely. It's awesome. still accessible to everybody it's still across accessible the United for everyone. States. Okay. Yeah. So let us know a little bit more about your company, um, philosophy, and just you know what you want those watching here yeah. to know about. Yeah, yeah. Here at Country Life Natural Foods, we're really all about how do we make eating healthy easy. There you go. Um, yeah. So if you look on our website, uh, countrylifefoods.com, you can see uh, different recipes and, and different ways to to make uh, healthy food options because. Sometimes people see weight berries and they're like, oh man, that's intimidating. Right. How would I even tr attempt to make something uh, out of that? Uh, but our site, we try to, we, we share ways of how you can eat um, and prepare some of the products that, that we make. Right. So that way. So you take um, these bulk products and you, yeah. you you simplify a way to actually utilize them. So you don't have to just buy a, a bag of, you know, rice and beans and, you know, just live to survive, but it's, it's be nice to have something like, peaceful, right? Yeah. So you said that you did mention you have a, an in-house cookbook as well. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we have a cookbook yeah, that sort of goes over different recipes, implementing uh, some of the products that we sell, um, whether awesome. it's bulk grains or beans, and, and also trying to have tasty foods as well. So yeah, there are different granolas, whether it's cherry almond granola or cashew date delight granola. So everything we carry is plant-based. Okay. Um, so all of our wide array of products. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so plant-based products, plant -based products. Uh, locally sourced slash mm -hmm. regionally sourced as much as possible. Yep. Um, obviously, like for those rare items, you have to reach out and go a little bit further. You know, for for mango or tropical fruit, right? It's kind of hard to grow those here all the time. Yeah. In uh, Southwest Michigan, um, so awesome. You guys have a great setup here. The store is super clean. Everyone here is super helpful and uh, friendly. So kudos to you guys on that and doing a great job with uh, your setup here. Your grounds are beautiful, and um, it's been awesome hanging with you. And yeah. Thanks so much for coming out. Country Life Natural Foods. Thank Thanks you. for having us out. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the inside look at Country Life Natural Foods. And I just want to show you, I didn't buy a ton of stuff. I mean, no. I did, but like as far as items go, I want to share with you what I purchased yeah. on this particular visit. And then Josh can talk about uh, just the process of ordering and whatnot. For sure. Okay, so on this trip, I bought uh, two different bags of wheat berries, okay? So I have not made a bulk purchase of wheat berries before, but I wanted to go ahead and do that because they had them in stock. And they store longer, and right? And they store yeah. for a very long time. We go through wheat quickly, mm -hmm. uh, flour, uh, white flour, wheat flour, any of those very quickly because we cook, we bake at home all the time. But on this trip, I wanted to take advantage of, of stocking up because they had them in stock mm -hmm. and uh, a comparable price to Azure Standard. So I wanted to go ahead and, and buy uh, 100 pounds of wheat berries. I bought hard red wheat berries and I bought the hard white wheat berries. Okay. And uh, not only can you grind all these, these things up to make flour, but you can turn it into a porridge. Um, there's lots of different things. Julianne will cover all of those things in a different video, kind of how we use wheat berries, right. how we store them, um, what you can do with them anytime you want to. And then I also purchased a 50 pound bag of 100% whole wheat flour, uh, USDA organic flour uh, that they carry at Country Life Foods and I just wanted to try it. Um, sometimes we've had uh, like for example when I've bought bulk flour from the Amish store when we go to Michigan I've, I've, it's been hit or miss for me right. so I'm excited to try this. Uh, it had good reviews. So I'm, This has a little tag on it. it says product of the USA Best Buy 523 so that's always 
good that we know that it's got a date on it. It has a date. Not, like, out of date. Right, right exactly. And yeah. sometimes when you're buying it from like a Benton Dent or a bulk food store that, that isn't uh, regulated quite as much, right. you take that risk, right? Real Most quick, of the things are awesome, but sometimes you take a risk. Not trying to cut you off, but That's real okay. quick, they're going to ask. They always ask, how do we treat our bags of bulk goods to make sure that they don't get bugs? Okay, anytime that, and we should do this as a standalone thing, know, but, but anytime we bring in like 50 pound bags of flour, um, I'm actually uh, probably not gonna even do this with the whole wheat because we'll we will go through, go through it. it so quickly. Right. But with the wheat berries, I will take each of these bags. So let's just take this bag for example. This 50 pound bag, I will put inside of a garbage bag, just as it is, I will keep it in its original packaging. I will put it inside a garbage bag to keep it from, away from any moisture. Okay. Then I will put it in our chest free uh, which we leave room to do this. So at the top of our chest freezer, I will put this in there for a solid week. You don't necessarily need that amount of time, but there's no reason. I'm not using it right now. I can. I want it to store properly. Right. I will put this inside the freezer to freeze for a solid week. After that time is done, I will take it out of the freezer, out of the garbage bag, and set it to come back to room temperature completely. So it doesn't have moisture buildup in it? No moisture, no freezing, thawing. It needs to come back to room temperature completely. Then I can do whatever I want with it. Whether Sometimes uh, it depends what we have for space, but right. sometimes I take these bags and I put them inside of airtight uh, totes, like big totes, and I stack them on top of each other. Right. Or if I'm short on those, I will put them into five-gallon buckets and seal them shut. So it depends what I have space for, but both of those options are, are great right. options. And real Go Real ahead. quick, just a touch. We have a working stockpile. We have a working storage um, supply here, so we, we don't. always rotate. We're not looking at doomsday, 30-year prepping, yes. storing stuff forever. We're rotating through our stock. If you look at the cooking from the stockpile, we're actively using our stuff. Yes, we don't want food to go to waste. That's silly. That's right. a waste of money. We have too many people to feed. It's not worth it to have stuff go bad okay. or to just keep having to feed it to the chickens. We right. want to use it and be proactive and learn how to cook at home, right? Okay. Yeah. The last time we did a grocery haul from Country Life, I am still actually working through some of those products. We have a video on that that we can link here and you can go check it out and learn about a bunch of other products that I purchased right. from them that I've been really happy with overall. Right. Um, but most of these things are new purchases. Um, so for example, I, I already went through all my cane sugar from them, so that's why we purchased a 50 pound bag of the beautiful cane sugar from Azure Standard. Yep. Um, but I was delighted with the sugar from Country Life Naturals. We just went through it, so I had to restock it. I'm trying different places, as well as oats. I still have my 50 pounds of oats okay. from, from Country Life Naturals. Those are safely in storage, and we're working through them. So, all right, over here, I have a five pound bag of dried dark red kidney beans. Okay. All right, so we use these for all sorts of things. Some of our favorite things are chili, um, and Mexican dishes that we want to keep long term. And, and our favorite way to cook these um, are in the Instapot. It's really the fastest, easiest yeah. way to do it. Pressure Instapot, canner, yep. Yeah. If yep. you have a pressure canner Instapot it, you can also do it on the stovetop. So we have five pounds of kidney beans. We have five pounds of black beans, our favorite. This is probably our favorite thing to eat. And uh, we've showed you guys we love making like our seasoned black beans with our canned uh, seasonal full recipe on corn. It, right? Yeah, we have a full recipe on that. So we love doing Mexican with the beans. And these are awesome shelf study things that you need to put in your pantry, but only buy what you would use. So I could have spent another however much money on beans yeah. that we don't use. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I only stock up on products that we are for sure going to use. Okay, now let's get to some of the fun stuff. One of my favorite products, and all of you should get online today and order <laughs> from Country Life Natural Foods, and I'm telling you, it's so good, is their, their dried mango. It's this, no sugar added, right? No sugar and no uh, preservatives at all. Yeah. This, I have to hide this in my house because it is so good. Yeah. And it's expensive, so I mean, just like any dried fruit is. Right. So that's that's across the board. That doesn't matter where you're buying it from. Right. But their dried mango is a staple. I've been buying it for a Years. long time. And we keep it in the house and it's so good. So this is a five pound bag. This is $55 currently. Right. You have to understand, we have to show grace to companies too that are having to raise their prices right yep. now because uh, being a, you know running a company is not cheap right now. Right. 
Right. So this is one of our favorite healthy snacks to keep in the stockpile. And like I said, I ration it out so it lasts us. So I bought a total of 10 pounds of the mango. And I'm telling you, you guys will, you will just love it. Josh, That's we'll good. talk about shipping too. You can have this sent directly to your house, okay? You don't have to go all the way to Michigan. You right. don't have to find a route to pick it up on. You can have this. And then two new things. When we were doing our... Um, we, got, we got sold. I'm doing all the talking because I'm the one who's the grocery <laughs> shopper here. But yeah. when we were doing the tour with Mitchell yep. in person at Country Life, he was showing us every all the different granola uh, stations at the facility. And everything was so clean and nice. And they talked about making just recipes that go back all the way 60 years. to the beginning. Yeah. The original recipes yeah. and how good the granolas are. And it's like, oh. And they make it in-house and roasted yeah. in these big ovens. Anyway, it was so, he totally sold me on it, OK? <laughs> and we love granola. We, we make our own homemade granola, which is awesome. But it's mm -hmm. really nice to have healthy, quick, easy options around the house, too. Sure. So I bought um, this. These are each three pounds of granola. Granola. So I chose to go with the Cashew Date Delight Granola and the Cherry Almond Granola. The Cherry Almond just sounds so good. And the recipe, um, the ingredients are very clean. Yep. Um, like I said, they make them in-house and ship them directly from their their facility was pristine it was yeah, like yeah. it was very clean and very well kept they keep things refrigerated and it yeah, was different temperatures for it different was very things. i yeah. was very impressed and my mom it was funny my mom was with us she was trying to stay off of camera <laughs> but my mom was with us because she shops there all the time in their small little store yeah and she's like, after hearing the tour and walking through, she's like, oh, this makes me want to shop here even more. I'm like, mom, you already shop here. Yeah. But support them um, because of how sweet and kind and organized and clean and they are They're just well, doing it the right They're way. doing it the right yeah. way, right? Yeah. And they've learned from some things in the past and yeah. have improved. Okay, last but not least, one thing that I love, um, if you've been following our channel for any amount of time, you know that Julianne yeah. makes our own soap, uh, all natural soap and lip balm, gold lotion, all these body, bath and body things that we truly use here because they're clean, they're all natural. And uh, you guys can go check that out on heartwayfarms.com if you are interested in looking at that. It supports Julianne and Marie yep. um, as they put their stuff up there. But we need ingredients. Right. And uh, uh, Country Life Natural Foods has started to carry a lot of the ingredients needed for soap making, for, soap making, right. for all natural living and stuff. So palm oil is something we use in a lot of our soaps. Right. And that's why we picked up a nice big jug of that because it's affordable. and. And good quality. Um, my mom uh, has tested out many of their products, but she also has talked to many, uh, several of the employees there right. who have used the products and wanted to make sure that it worked well for, for yeah. making all natural products. So on this trip, this is what we got. Right. I could you walk in there yeah. and buy a lot of stuff, but I right. need to use wisdom. I don't want food to go bad. Yeah. I want to make sure we're working through our stockpile. So as we have need, I mean, now that I know that you can have it shipped right to your house for free, I could have my mango shipped to my house for free. I'm probably going to do it. Like yeah. I usually have to wait until we go up to Michigan Which to kind buy of throttle it. how much we bought. So let's be careful of this here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so something that was clarified when we got there because their web page says, $99 small packages, free shipping if you spend more than $99, and then over $400, $399 for large uh, bulk orders, that goes free as well. So they've redesigned the way that they do things, and the smaller type packages, um, if they're like kind of repackaged smaller items, they ship those out over $100 um, of purchasing for free. So right, like anywhere so if in I the want country, mango. Yep, you can get mango, the cherry almond mango. stuff, like all the small packages, that's not considered their large bulk packages. As soon as you get into the bulk items, 50 pound bags, 25 pound bags, the bigger bags, you get into that $400 mark, and yeah. anything over $400, they will ship those out as well for free. So unlike having to be on certain routes or tied to certain days, um, something that we talked about that would maybe be a great idea is if you want the smaller items and you want the free shipping, then great, make that purchase. But if you maybe want a larger bulk purchase is get together with a couple people in your community, create like your own drop pick up location, location, pick up yeah. location, and put together a larger order um, that would include your bulk items and have that shipped to your one location and create a mini pickup location that you would get the free shipping. So um, that was kind of a, 
a nice thing because you're not stuck it's to not that a hard route to, yeah. or a scheduled day. Right. You're on kind of their shipping schedule. And it's not that hard to spend $399 in a group of people, sure. especially if you're kind of uh, stacking your pantry on some of those things that you use weekly too. Like right. whether it's, I mean, we use flour daily and we yeah, use sugar and flour sugar, staples. Flour, yeah, yeah, all of those staples. Um, all of their products are plant-based, so just keep that in mind when you're going into yep. it. Um, and I, you guys know we give honest reviews about things and you know that we support Azure Standard. We also support Country Life Natural Yeah, we've been Foods. shopping there for years. I think it's important yeah. to understand that it's okay to support bo both companies that right. are trying to do the right thing and to do it the right way. Right. Um, I'm going to compare and contrast real quick a little bit. Uh, the prices at Country Life are more expensive. Sure. But you're not paying shipping um, if you work it properly. And, and so you're not tied to a, a, a pickup date. You're not tied that's to date. Flexible. Also, yeah. they, their items that you find on your their website are in stock. They would say upfront if they're out of stock. So if I put what I did, um, I, they only needed 24 no hours notice for me to pick up in person. Right. I got on the website and I picked out my products and I checked out all of those items that I checked out with were held. They're for allocated me. for you. They're yep. allocated. Um, where you guys, I've been very honest about my challenges with Azure here and there, um, where sometimes those things don't ship and right. then you don't get those things. The nice, one of the nice things about Country Life is that those things are allocated once I purchase them. Right. So it was nice because I knew exactly what I was getting. I knew exactly what was out of stock on their website. You know, right. one type of, of wheat berries were out of stock. So I switched to a different type and I got those For instead. Sure. So overall, we were very happy with sure. yeah. with everything that we heard, that we saw, Customer and that we have, clean. We yeah. have had, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, very uh, Even the store manager, she was wonderful to work with and yeah. very cooperative and all of that. Yeah. So, one, uh, and I'm excited for them as a company because they are expanding and trying to grow and develop. Like if they don't carry certain things now, they're trying to carry them now. They partner with as many people in the U.S. as they can, right. and those products that they can't get in the U.S., they try to find reliable, good quality sources outside of the U.S. Right. So they're trying to do all the right things, so we appreciate that very much. For sure. So we're glad that you came along with us for the tour and uh, the food hall. If you have any questions, make sure you check out the link below and put any feedback that you have regarding uh, any of the food companies that you've been doing bulk orders from in yep. the comments below and let everyone know your experience with them. So. Yep, take a look and shop through the link below. We appreciate you guys so much, and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a blessed day.